Okay, it's chip of the day. People like chip of the day. So we have a microchip MCP23017. I like this chip. I've, I've used this in uh, projects before. So this is uh, an IO expander uh, for uh, um, a serial interface. So we'll, we'll talk about what that means. But it's 16 bits. So if you have, say, an Arduino project and you're running out of I.O., you add one of these and suddenly you have 16 more pins. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now, um, the uh, part that I have, the 23017, is an I2C interface, so you can just use I2C. Um, if you want to use SPI, though, um, you can use this chip. Uh, and it does uh, it does SPI, so it has they have uh, two different versions. So uh, here is the chip. It's a really big chip. I'll show it here, uh, but it's uh, 20, 28 pins. It's a uh, uh, twenty eight pin dip, so a real long one, not wide, just long. And it has two ports. It has an A port and a B port, both eight bit ports. So you can talk to each one individually. This one, this one, you can address and talk to that port, or you can address this and, and uh, talk to that port. Uh, and serial clock and data. Uh, really, not a lot going on here. It has three address lines, so you can have up to eight of these on the bus at different addresses. Um, so yeah, you can set the uh, pins to either be input or output. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it. I've got a little project here. Um, so here's the chip. You can see it's really, really, really long. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, now, I had done a project previously, and I had a little PC board that uh, just allows me to, to uh, have the uh, uh, ability to strap the, uh, the A1, 2, and 3 lines and it adds some bypassing stuff on it. So there are actually, there are actually some surface mount parts on the, on the bottom of this board that, that add that functionality. But anyway, this is the chip here, okay? So we're gonna be using an Arduino Nano to talk to it with I2C, so it's just two wires. Um, and I have some LEDs hooked up to the uh, A port and some hooked up to the B port, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on. All right, there we go. Um, so I have uh, a program that just counts on this port, and on this port it's just sending out random numbers, okay? And so, yeah, there it, there it all goes. So you can see that you can, in, you know, if they're two independent registers, you can do what you want with them. And you uh, are only eating up uh, on a uh, uh, Arduino Nano, it's A4 and A5 that are the uh, built-in I2C pins, so you're only using two pins of the uh, device here to run uh, uh, up to eight lines, uh, up to 16 lines of the uh, of data on the other side. So yeah, a very, very nice chip. Um, I believe these are also available in surface mount, although they are uh, packages that uh, maybe are a little more difficult to use, but um, the dip versions are quite easy to use. You can just pop one in your roadboard. All right, let's talk about the program. People always want to know how I programmed it. All right. Uh, so uh, I'll take a screenshot of these. So uh, we tell it we're going to be using I2C, we, we, the address of this particular one. They're anywhere from uh, 20 hex to 27 hex. Mine happens to be strapped for 27 hex. Um, tell I2C to start. Uh, then you talk to the part and you tell it, uh, you talk to add, uh, register zero and say it's going to all be outputs. Talk to register one. Say it's all going to be outputs, and those set up uh, the port A and port B. And then uh, now we have our loop. Our loop is just a counting loop, so uh, the GPIO A port will just show the, the count. That's at address 12, and at address 13 is the, uh, the other uh, uh, B port. And on the B port, I'm just going to throw in a random number. All right, that was uh, chip of the day, an MCP. 23017.